everyone! So today I'm doing a video on my go-to look for every day when I want my makeup to look a little more done, a little more bold. Still using some natural colors, a really winged liner look, um, brighter lips. Say, Waylon, you haven't been in a video in a while. He's kind of like wanting to crash the video, but then he's kind of hanging in the background, kind of unsure. Say hi! Say hi! Look how big! He's huge. He is a big old guy. Alright, that's the only bed in the house he's allowed on and he's really excited about it. This is a look that I've been wearing lately in a lot of my videos that you guys have really been requesting heavily and I really love it. I think these are my, obviously my favorite looks, the looks that I wear most day to day. Um, just really fun, really flattering, definitely what I'll be wearing on Valentine's Day and what I wore when we went out on our anniversary. I've been loving a little bit of a brighter lip, but not fussy. Something that you can just throw on every day, not have to bother with lip liner and really make a big deal about doing your lips, but you can make them look fab. I'm going to show you how quick it is. And don't worry if you don't have the exact products, you can definitely replicate this look using similar products that you may already own. Um, but I am using my Defining Eyes kit, which I'm really excited about. Um, thank you guys so much for making this such a success. I know that a lot of you were loving it. I've gotten just nothing but great feedback, and I'm really, really excited about that. So I'm glad that y'all are enjoying it because I created it for you. Um, and yeah, so I hope that you love it. Before I get started, I also want to say I did use the Camera Ready Spashbox BB Cream on my face. I used the light shade. It's what I've been using in place of um, foundation and in place of moisturizer in the morning. So I really love it. It has a lot of coverage. It's very moisturizing. Keep it in my bathroom and use it kind of as the last step of my skincare routine. So, um, so yeah, I really love it. So yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoy this look. And if you want to see exactly how I got it step by step, then keep watching. Alright, so to get started, I'm going to apply a natural color base that's going to prevent creasing. I'm using the Sigma um, eyeshadow base in Persuade. It looks like that. It's very similar to MAC Painterly. I'm using a P86 brush. It's like a very, you know, sort of like a synthetic, really dense brush and it really kind of gets the color on the lid well and it blends really well too. So kind of get that into your crease and a little bit up the brow bone, a little under the eye as well. Then I'm taking my Defining Eyes palette that I really love. I use this probably every day. And I'm going to take the brush that it comes with. It comes with a dual-sided brush. I'm going to use this little fluffy end. And I'm going to use this shade called Smoke. And I'm just going to dab that all over my eyelid. I'm going to take this shade called Chestnut. It's a really nice warm brown with some gold sparkle. I'm going to use a little bit of a more precise brush, like an E35. Get a little bit on the brush and just apply that right to that outer area of the crease, kind of moving in very small, like circular motions. And then whatever's left on the brush, just sweep it inward. Then on the other end of the little brush that comes with the kit, I'm going to take that same chestnut color that we just used and just lightly sweep it underneath the eye on the lower lash line. Then using this shade in the palette called Beam. This one's a little more frosted, the halo. The Beam is a little more of um, like sort of like a really intense matte with a sparkle to it. I'm going to take that same brush, you can wipe it off or just use a new one like I did. And apply that right to your inner corner. It's really intense, so you don't need a whole lot to brighten this up. And then take that same color. You can use that same brush because we're not applying a whole lot. And pop it right up underneath the brow. If you wanted just a little extra uh, for every day, the brunette shade would be nice. Just apply that on that same brush that we used for the crease. And just kind of lightly dab that in the outer corner. Alright, so we're almost done. Now we're going to apply the liner, which is my favorite part. You want to take an EO5 brush, which one of these also comes with the kit as well. You can use the brown or the black in the kit. Um, they come in little pots. You could probably see that before, but they fit in the little kit and the little pots. I'm going to use the black. So trace it kind of thin on this inner corner. And then as you come out, you want to kind of thicken it a bit. When you get to the outer corner, you can get just a little bit more on your brush if you want a really intense look. And if you really want to wing it out, you can do so. You can leave it like this, um, but I kind of like a little extra wing. So what I do is I kind of draw it in, and I think that you get kind of a cleaner result that way. So you can kind of extend it a little more if you want. I kind of like to go back with just the tip and make a really thin little swoop after I do that. 
And then take whatever's left on your brush. I like to just kind of connect the color to the lower lash line. Just inward, just very slightly, about a quarter of the way. And now I'm using my favorite mascara, the Armani Eyes to Kill. Definitely don't skip mascara. It's probably, to me, one of the most important, if not the most important step. Alright, so now that the eyes are done, I'm going to show you what I used on the rest of my face to complete everything. Okay, so I already showed you what foundation I used, which isn't really a foundation. It's a really great product for every day. It's perfect. Um, but what I like to do day to day is just to apply a light dusting of bronzer. You definitely don't want to look like overly contoured or overly bronzed, but I really love the NARS Laguna. I think you really can't go wrong with this color. And I use a big fluffy brush like an F20 and just barely get it on. I apply it to the area where I would normally contour, right beneath your cheekbones where that hollow is. And you see how that kind of created a natural shadow and also added some color to my face. It looks a little healthy. I don't like to go overboard with bronzer like on the tops of your cheekbones and across the bridge. You know like where you think the sun would normally hit, which is where you think. You know normally you should apply bronzer, but I don't want the look to be too fake. So I usually just apply it there. And then right along my hairline, I find that that is a really flattering place to apply it as well. A go-to blush that I just really think that you can't go wrong with. One of the colors is the NARS Madly. The other is the NARS Orgasm. But I've been really loving the Madly lately. I use an F40 angled brush. Use that on the apples of my cheeks. The color gives really a more like natural rosy glow, not too pink and it's not too brown or anything, so it's a really great color. Lips can be the easiest way to add some more color to your face. Um, lately I've been loving some of these more like sheer bright colors, and I've really been obsessed with the Maybelline Vivids. They're cheap, you can find them at the drugstore, and my very favorite is this one called Pink Pop. They're lipsticks, and they really transfer a lot of color, but they're also sheer and shiny at the same time. It doesn't look like painted on, like super opaque color. Even the ones that are more opaque are really, really shiny. This Pink Pop shade is just perfect, and if you want it to be just a little sheer, um, if you're using like a more bright color, you can definitely apply like a clear uh, lip gloss beforehand. I like the MAC uh, lip conditioner, just the regular one. Just apply a little bit so that when you apply your lipstick, it's not super greasy. You can apply, apply just a tidbit and then apply your lipstick over it. So that is it for a finishing touch to your brows. I always use just a little bit of brow powder, and lately I've been using the Sigma Medium Brow Powder. I like that they come in this so you don't have to buy the giant kit if you don't want to invest that much money but I'm obsessed with the brow powders. I use the medium. Um, this color is great for the majority of like going around my brows and kind of filling in. If I have a really like, like my scar right there, I like to use the really dark color. Just very, very lightly. It's very pigmented. I can also get away with the light shade. The light works well on me too. But the medium is what I reach for the most. Um, so I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Definitely check out my palette if you haven't. I do have a discount code and everything in the more info below. And as always, if you don't have these colors, I'm not pushing these products. You can use whatever you want. Um, these are very basic colors. I do love the formulas and I love these products. That's why I'm using them. Um, but you can definitely replicate it with similar colors that, that you may already own. So I hope that you guys enjoy it and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.